think Deerfield's a really busy place and your day is full of classes and co-curriculars and your social life and art for me has just been a place where I can kind of slow down and be introspective. I've always loved the ability to create things. Ever since I was little, I enjoyed and looked forward to the challenges that are needed to be creative. I think art is a skill that has to be constantly practiced in order to develop. Much like the form slowly emerges from a drawing, your ability to incorporate detail slowly emerges through dedication and to the practice in refining your own art. I never think that art is limited here. It is, I think it's only if you put yourself in that mindset would you be limited in your creation. We have all kinds of classes that one, uh, one who's interested in art can take. In architecture, studio art, photography, videography, to design, uh, to art history. It also comes at all levels, from introduction to AP, and even tutorial, where it's one-on-one -on -one study. In general, the more advanced you are in the art program, the more freedom you're given. So in topics, which is post-AP studio art, you're given specific assignments with guidelines to follow, but there's a lot of room for creative freedom because the assignments are designed to stretch you as an artist and force you to think analytically. When I came to Deerfield as a freshman, I wasn't anticipating being very involved in the arts. I thought I would be more focused on my academics and sports, but after taking two classes sophomore year in intro to photography and intro studio art, I had a lot of fun and I realized it was something I was really interested in. So then junior year, I ended up taking AP Photo and it was something that I became very passionate about. And I've continued it to this day and still decided to take AP Studio Art this year, as well as architecture and art history. So art has really become something bigger than I thought. Um, but really what sets Deerfield apart from other schools, such as my old school, is first of all, Deerfield's long history. Um, here at Deerfield, I can really tap into that whenever I want to make a film. Um, I can explore some Deerfield traditions, use archival footage, or really be able to um, grasp the sense of the Deerfield tradition through film. I think that's really unique. I mean, when I came to Deerfield, I didn't really think that I was going to be a focused art student. I, I came in thinking solely about athletics and, and coming in here and trying new things has been a really eye-opening experience for me. I came in and I took introductory to architecture this, this term and I loved it. It was great. It was new. It was fun. And it was different. And I, I think that here we only have so many opportunities but we can really elaborate and go into different areas that other schools wouldn't be able to do. And now that I've taken this architecture class, I went through the, the introductory phase, I went through the advanced phase, and we even got to propose our model to the administration for consideration for the new dorm. And now I'm thinking about studying architecture in college, and I, I think it's really amazing that we had these kinds of opportunities. So in AP Photography, at first we put together the breadth, which was broaden our horizons in photography, taking pictures of things that we hadn't usually in the past, how to photograph at different angles, maybe learning a new medium if we hadn't tried analog, learning analog. Then we had to finish our, start our concentration. And the concentration is specific photographs based on a topic. And here's when we really learned how to take a series of pictures based on one concept. And in this we learned every specific detail of a photographic image and how to use them to our advantage. And also, um, I think what's really nice about Deerfield is uh, the fact that Deerfield has so many resources, um, not just equipment or like film equipment, but also resources as in connections to the community as a whole. Um, when I worked on my farm project, uh, it was about local farms and sustainability. And I know that back in Beijing, in my old school, I would never have been able to do that. I think one of the best things about Deerfield is its facilities and surroundings. With places like Mass Mocha, Clark Institute, and the Yale Art Gallery nearby, we are really able to see some impressive art around Deerfield. We also have the new Von Osberg Gallery that renews exhibitions every month. We have guest artists from all over the world to contribute, as well as our own teachers' works on showing. I think what is more amazing is that we are able to put our own artworks on show in the gallery and sometimes even be able to curate it on our own.